Shares of Lululemon getting hit today after forecasting a decline in gross margins for its holiday quarter. And then Macy's also plunging today after warning sales will come in light for the quarter. Earlier today at the ICR retail conference, Macy's CEO Jeff Gannett expressed some concerns about the consumer, saying in part, as we think about 2023, we do think the consumer is under pressure, especially in the first half. Let's bring in former Macy's CEO Terry Lundgren for more. So, Terry, how, how nervous do you think Gannett and the industry is about the consumer right now based on some of these warnings? Well, Sarah, first of all, I think what happened, what you saw uh, this holiday season is as anticipated, the consumer came out guns blazing, spent heavily during the gift period. But what uh, Jeff Gannett pointed out and others have done as well uh, is that in between those gift giving moments, the week before Christmas being important, Cyber Monday being important, all those, all those peak giving periods were very, very strong. But in between, when consumers tend to buy for themselves, that weakened. And that's a bad sign for the, the longer term, because obviously we don't have the holiday spending momentum to carry us into January, February uh, and March. So so I think that's what the concern is. I think that's why the the warnings have been out there, not just by Macy, by, by others as well. Lululemon, you pointed out and others. And so I think they're seeing this as a, a bit of a concern. Consumers getting a little bit nervous about whether or not they're going to continue this this torrid spending uh, uh, move that they've been on for the last couple of years. I just want to dive into that idea a little further because so so your successor, Jeff Gannett, and the statement that they put out on Friday with this warning said in part, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales were in line with our expectations while the week leading up to and following Christmas were ahead. However, the lulls of the non-peak holiday weeks were deeper than anticipated. So I, I guess I need you to translate that from from Macy CEO speak to what what that actually means because obviously in between holiday periods you don't get the same kind of boost that you get during the holidays. So wh what does that actually mean in terms of cause for concern? Well, what it, what what that I think just demonstrated those comments just demonstrated is that the consumer was was stepping up spending for those important gifts that that they wanted to to give and they wanted to be proud of the gifts that they that they gave. But when it came time for while they were in the in the store in between just browsing and looking at opportunities for themselves for their own events, uh, they they cut back, they held back. And that's what uh, that's what I think the concern is, Sarah. And I think that is reason to have some concern and some pause about the first half of, of 2023 in terms of discretionary spending. I, but on another category of, of spending, you know, and you, you all have uh, been talking about this a bit earlier in your program, is that consumers are spending on experiences and that includes travel and hospitality and and so if they're if they want to have those trips that they haven't taken and they definitely still have not satisfied that need uh, from uh, pre early COVID days that is going to use up a lot of what they could have otherwise spent on discretionary goods I get it but you, you know my next question Terry which is going to be is this department store specific or are we just reverting back to a period pre-COVID when department stores were being further pressured than some of the other retailers because we aren't really quite hearing this broadly yet. That's right. You're not. But obviously, Lululemon's not a not a department store. So so but that's so a mar I mean, they're still they still raise their revenue guidance. They just warned on margins. They're still growing yeah. 20 to 30 percent a quarter. Well, I think what ha I think what uh, what the, the Macy's uh, uh, argument was is that their inventory is is actually in very very good shape and, and well below 2019, as well as you know in in, in below their own ex original anticipated numbers going into uh, this this current period. That's critical. So there was a tremendous amount of top line growth driven by promotions by many of retailers who had too much inventory going into the fourth quarter. The key question is, what do those, what do those inventories look like going into the first quarter, January, February, March, April, into this, this, this coming year? Because if the inventories are still heavy, uh, over, over expectations, if the inventory is higher than last year on a relative basis to their sales expectations versus last year in the first quarter, that's where I see a problem with margins. I think others mm -hmm. are getting their inventory in, in position and they're going to protect their margins. I think the margins are actually going to be okay with those, those retailers, but they won't have the aggressive opportunity to go after the top line sales growth.